welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Okay, so I have a subscriber that purchased a reading on a North American celebrity couple. I think this is probably either the first or second time that this has happened on my channel. Usually it's Southeast Asian uh, uh, celebrities and so forth. So this one is on Jennifer Aniston and Gerald Butler. And uh, so she has allowed me to post this public for everyone to watch. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. A little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. And as a clairsentient, I can read people. Um, I pick up energies between people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. It's what comes naturally to me. So if you're interested in purchasing a reading on your favorite celebrity or even on your own life, you know, just if you have one question, should you take this job? Or, you know, how does this person feel about me? That sort of a thing. Um, I do offer two services. The first one is $57 and I accept PayPal and the $57 is unlimited reading so you have like all the questions you can put out there a lot of readers on YouTube will only let th you have three questions or four questions but you can ask as many questions as you like and I will read until I am done um, and then the other service I, ha I provide is one question five cards you get an energy reading and that's $20 okay so those are the two services I will have my email below uh, on right here probably usually right there um, I will you email me I'll get back to you within 24 hours and the turnaround time is about five days to get the reading back that's the longest you will wait usually people wait two or three days okay and for those of you who are current subscribers who keep coming back I'm so truly grateful for all of you guys who keep coming back supporting my channel and supporting me Okay. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this reading. A big thank you to the subscriber who has purchased this reading and allowed everyone to enjoy it. Ah! So you want to know about Jennifer Aniston and Gerard Butler, future messages? Uh, she's not interested. I don't feel she's interested. Um, yes, they work together. Like you said that they work together. I saw that clip that you sent me. Um, and he was asked who's the better kisser, Angelina Jolie um, or Jennifer Aniston. I do feel that there may have been something in the past going on between them, but I don't think there's anything going on in the future. I feel like when I think, I think he, he's still, he's attracted to her. I feel he likes her and um, would like more, but... When I think about her, mm -mm, she's she's done, she's passed, she's moved on from him, you know, if they've ever dated, okay? I don't feel like they're going to date in the future. Let's see what the future messages are regarding Jennifer Aniston and Gerard Butler. And Gerard Butler's a good-looking man. He's, he's, he's a handsome one. All right, what are the future messages regarding Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston? Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston. Future messages regarding Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston. I never looked up to see what his birth date is. I believe she's an Aquarius. Just gonna see. Gerard Butler's birthday is November 13th. He's a, he's a Scorpio. Okay, so future messages. Okay, I don't know if they talk. I don't know if they still talk. Okay, so there's the Eight of Wands. They still might talk. This is about messages. This is about news. I mean, I do believe that they still contact, like keep in contact and talk to each other. This is talking about messaging, talking, um, like phone, you know, uh, emailing, that sort of a thing. So they could contact each other about news you know hey this is what's happening to me how are you doing that sort of a thing okay this does talk about them perhaps being in contact still 
or in the future be in contact for some reason. Now we have, now this also, the Eight of Wands speaks about some sort of a news arriving. Some sort of a quick change might be coming. Maybe they'll work together. Who knows? There is the Six of Pentacles, which talks about balance. Okay, this is about being generous. So I feel that they're still generous with each other. The relationship is balanced. This card also talks about balance, harmony. It's the temperance card. So it's balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. I feel the relationship is very balanced. Okay, you have water, you have fire. That's the balance there. He is a water sign. Okay, he's a, he's a, a Scorpio. Okay, this represents him. There he is, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the Knight of Cups, which talks about a Prince Charming, romantic love, proposal. I feel that he's always offering to her, but she's not interested. And by offering, by, I mean, like, would you like to go out for supper? Would you like to go for a drink? You know, do you want to come over? That sort of thing. I feel not a lot, but... The, the the relationship is there. I believe the communication is there. And he's constantly making, could be making that offer to her. He's attracted to her. Okay. And then we have the moon card. And the moon card talks about, um, uh, it's like mystery. It is about illusions, the unconscious. It's about deception, uncertainty. It's dreams. This talks about being confused and disappointed. I think that's him. Okay. And this is about um, being vulnerable. And so I feel for him, this is more him being on the dreamy side of where this could be. But I don't feel that she's interested. So I don't feel like they will date in the future. 